Hey Line hi folks, it's Lab. Welcome back to another video. For those of you who are new, I use here pronouns. Welcome back to a, another vlog in Sydney. It is just 6.50 a.m. just before 7. Exploring my hotel. There's a gym over there that I'm gonna go and then before I hit the gym, I'm not actually gonna walk out. I just wanna see what it looks like. I found this hospitality room. It looks pretty. <laughs> like, this is not my actual hotel room, it's a hospitality room near the gym. And there's just like, um, there's cold water and this tab. I just looped around. And there's like a bathroom in there. And now I'm gonna head to the gym. The gym is here. There's like a bunch of weights over here too. I don't really do weights. I don't really have weights at all either. This is like, oh, that's heavy. No one's 12 kilograms. Let's not do that. They have me ones too, like one kilogram. It's so cute. <laughs> I can lift seven kilograms. It's about the 12 one. I can't do it while I'm holding this phone. I think that's not, yeah, that's seven. That's seven kilograms. That's actually pretty heavy. <laughs> I actually, I actually didn't work out. I was just, just like, seeing what the gym looked like and jumping on a few machines for fun, but I didn't actually do a workout. Um, yes. I found to do a workout, I'd rather do like boxing or some sort of martial arts because that's, I prefer that than just using exercise machines. That's me personally. I just found this place and it has so much different sushi and this related stuff that is safe for me to eat because I'm on low food map and I've never really seen a place that has this many options for sushi, sashimi and the like so I'm gonna remember this place and I can I'm gonna keep walking down that way and yes there's like I think there's a food court down here um this is right outside my hotel. I don't know if that's a bull or an ox, but there's a giant statue here. Let me show you. I don't... I think it's a bull. Very buff bull. I'm jealous. It's a bull. Alright, let's keep going. What of... A lot of food here, a lot of different food options, which is good. Uh, since it's quite early still, a lot of places aren't open yet. I think later on in the afternoon, it's going to be bustling here. It's an open area-ish. I just remembered, when I went to Cabramatta yesterday, there were so many bubble tea places. There's like one every like fifth store down the road. Like on one street, there is a lot, a lot of bubble tea places. A lot more than on one Melbourne street. And that was Cabramatta, which is like a suburb outside of the city, Sydney uh, CBD. I'm currently in the Sydney CBD. There are also quite a few bubble tea places. And, but it's not as much as Cabramatta from what I can see so far. Cabramatta has a ridiculous amount of bubble tea places. Um, the prices are pretty much the same as in Melbourne. Like, it's not exactly cheaper bubble tea. But in Cabramatta, there are like, there are other things that are much cheaper than in Melbourne. Like, sugar cane juice, like, too large with ice for $5. I could never get that in Melbourne. Like that would not be that would not happen in Melbourne. It's just yeah. And the food portion, the serving size was a lot. Like the food was really nice and then it was worth its money. Like they gave us quite a bit of noodle. Um unlike some places in Melbourne where they just fill most of the bowl up with soup and barely give me any like like noodle or meat and most of the bowl was just filled up with soup but yeah the place I ate yesterday it was like a noodle house a lot of noodle 
and not like drowning with soup and having an unbalanced thing, yeah. This street in Sydney reminds me of Burke Street in Melbourne because they have, they call it light rails. In Melbourne we call it trams, in Sydney they call it light rails but it looks very much like a tram except that they have two carriages in Melbourne there's usually just one long carriage this one it's like two interconnecting carriages these are like trams in Melbourne but yeah, so as you can see the double, it's connected and it really doesn't remind me of Burke Street because on Burke Street in Melbourne these sorts of trams run or in Sydney they call light rails but in the trams like that look like that run in on Burke Street in Melbourne and it's like an open big open street like Burke Street I've also heard you don't have to wear masks outside here I just forgot to take it off um, I've also heard that the Sydney CBD is much bigger than Melbourne CBD and I'm yet to explore that because yeah I haven't walked around the Sydney CBD much and I'm just exploring now still but so far, a lot of it reminds me of Melbourne except for except for the odd multiple lane one-way roads and with PT, they have signs like so you might see behind me that there's an L so that L is for light rail at the train stations they have T for train um, and I forgot what was ferry. I think there was also a sign for ferries and there's B for buses. So each, I guess, public transport stop is like labeled with something like this so that people know. Oh, look, it's another light rail. I haven't sat on one of these yet. I will probably do that later. I found a Starbucks that looks like it's from the, the olden days, the building. Probably gonna get Starbucks to be honest because none of the food places that I can eat at are open until like later. It's only like 7 15 a.m. so nothing's open. Um, so I'm probably gonna get Starbucks. And I just remember too that the weather in Sydney is very different from Melbourne. Like, even though it's like similar temperatures, like if it's like 22 degrees here, it's much warmer here compared to Melbourne. Like, Melbourne 22 degrees is very different from Sydney 22 degrees. Melbourne, the wind is much much colder the temp the, the um, what am i saying the weather here is much more humid and it's harder for me to breathe here like it's more like humid and like warm compared to melbourne which is like when it's cold it's like freezing cold here it's not so cold compared to melbourne i got my starbucks yo it's a pure matcha frappuccino and whipped cream on top yes Still walking, just sipping my pure, pure matcha frappuccino. Um, I just remembered also that just the check-in, like the COVID check-in for Melbourne and Sydney or Victoria and New South Wales are very different in the sense that with New South Wales, once I check in to a place, I will also have to check out. If I check in and I don't check out, it'll just be pending there. Yes, and but in Victoria, my hometown, my home, my home state, I just need to check in and it records that. I don't need to do any, a check out or anything like that. So New South Wales is more specific in that sense because check in, check out captures how long I've been in that place for. But in Victoria, check in is just. I went to this place at this time but they don't have a record of what time I left so it's very interesting how just like across the border two governments do things slightly differently. I know I'm doing a lot of Melbourne Sydney comparisons because when I go somewhere new and things are different from my hometown and the things that I'm familiar with I like comparing and exploring differences so with this Wales, right? Sydney. This is a bike lane right in front of me where my straw is pointing. This is a bike lane. In Melbourne, there is not just like a single section for bike lane, like both directions. So this is for both directions. In Melbourne, there's a bike lane, one bike lane on the left side for people going this way 
and then there's a, another bike lane on the other side for people going in the opposite direction. But with New South Wales, or Sydney, here at least, it's bike lane on one side, just divided in two, and then the road for cars on the other side. So that, that, that to me is very interesting. And this too, wait. The traffic light, I, so in Melbourne, right, they don't have, they have the red light, but then they have another thing here on this side. So it's not all in like one column. And I, I just get confused, like what if, so if the red, the, the red light arrow turns green, the red light arrow turns green then would it turn so people turning right and the people going straight or left would all stop together because in Melbourne like there's a green light over here and a yellow light over here for people turning right it's not in a, a single column so I I don't know New South Wales road rules but yeah that's just very different and confusing to me as well because if people in Melbourne, if like the red light, if the if the right turn arrow turns red, it's like it's green and then it goes ambient and then it goes red for the the right turn. But this one's in a single column, so I don't really know how that works. Oh my god! And I just there's like ambient light for bikers too. The yellow light. They don't have that in Melbourne. That's like. I've only seen like red light for bikes and then green light. I've never seen the, the yellow light for bikes in Melbourne. This is very interesting. See? I'm just like, I'm just like discovering things like and just learning things that are very different from my hometown that I'm not very familiar with. So they have, they have it here for this street as in they have this, the traffic light. That's what I mean by in Melbourne we have one another column. Like that's that doesn't confuse me but then the one down the turning right down there it just confuses me see this is that's what i mean like the red light that's ex this is exactly what we have in melbourne and then just like down the road it, it's not like that very very interesting to me how literally 100 meters up the road it's so discrepant i almost finished my matcha but I found the one way. So this is a this is a three laned one way road in the city. In Melbourne we have one way roads, but it's not three lanes. So this it's very interesting. Like I've never seen a three one way road in Melbourne before. In the city. Like it's non existent in Melbourne. But in Sydney it seems to have a lot of it, especially in the C B D. Like <laughs> That's why I would get so confused if I was driving here. Here we are with the confusing traffic light again. Well, confusing for me anyway, because I'm a foreigner to Sydney, but it's, it's literally down the road down there. It's like an arrow in a different column, and here there's an arrow in the same column. I just, I don't know. I don't know, really, I don't know. Um, there are a lot of restaurants. A lot of restaurants. I just found this too, wow. I just walk past this. David's Kitchen has a lot of options to choose from. How interesting. Whether I can eat any of these is another question. So, if you don't know, um, I'm on low FODMAP and I have IBS, so I'm intolerant to a lot of things and I have to be very careful about what I eat and drink. This, I, it's okay because I don't... High sugar content also does... gives me pain. I basically said no, no added sugar and the sweetness comes from the milk and a little bit of syrup that they put in. Yeah, so I have to be very careful about what I eat and drink. I found Darling Harbour and all I see so far is green space and some reverse U-shape looking things down there. And I just walked past Chinatown as well. I haven't walked down Chinatown because I'm walking here just to see what it's like first and then we're gonna go to Chinatown later I'll just walk down the street and see uh, nothing's open at the moment in Chinatown it's like dead quiet um, but yeah once things start opening um, because it's what time is it it's five past eight so a lot of places are still not open yet so later it's gonna be bustling 
Ooh, Darling Harbor. Darling Harbor. This is Darling Harbor. Nice open space with some green. I'm, I'm assuming it's real grass. Fancy. Pretty. Open areas in the city. I like this actually. Uh, currently at Darling Harbor. There's a bunch of boat here. There's like water taxis here. There was like paddle boating. And then they made a pun. It's like, oh boy. Boy as in B-O-U-Y. It's like the, the water boy thing. And yeah, on the other the, the side I was just on, there was a bunch of boats. This is a bridge. It's going to go over there. And then uh, Sea Life. Sea Life Sydney. And then Wildlife Sydney Zoo. I In Melbourne, Sea Life is not like next to the zoo. And in Melbourne, the zoo is not within the CBD. So this is real interesting to me. How there's a zoo right in the middle of the CBD. I don't know how big it is, but yeah. A zoo in the CBD is very interesting. In Melbourne, they have Sea Life in the CBD, but not, not the zoo, so. I'm on a ferry. That's the ferry that just boarded the dock. I'm on a different ferry. And there's the Sydney Harbour Bridge in the background. I'm on the bottom deck at the moment. I really wanted to go to the front of the, the boat, but then they blocked it off. I don't know why. I think these things are for holding on to, which is great. But yeah, I'm gonna depart very, very shortly. I'm gonna back off for it. It's a ferry. This is inside a Sydney light rail, which is like trams in Melbourne. But the thing is, yeah, as I mentioned in an earlier clip, hopefully I put it in this video, that it's like two interconnected trams, one dragging the other. In Melbourne, it's usually, usually just one long carriage. In Sydney, they have two, one main that's pulling and then one carrier. And then yeah, this is what, it's very similar to Melbourne, but they don't touch on on the tram like in Melbourne. Melbourne, the touch on, touch off thing is on the tram. This one is outside of the tram at the tram stop. 